Hi YouTube, my name is Eve the Weave. Back with another story. Like, share, and subscribe. I am so tired, YouTube. I just been ripping these streets up all day in New York City. Cause it's gonna rain tonight. It's gonna pour. But anyway. Um I'm here to talk about the Chris I Chris Chris I Lord Jesus. I am tearing these names up today. Um Chris Brown has been released from prison and he they gave him back his passports and everything else because I guess there's a lack of evidence because we're talking about Paris here people and if they really found any evidence that would like to keep him detained they would have kept him and not have let him go but I wanted to shed light on what T.I. said about Chris Brown you understand what I'm saying he didn't just not only take up for Chris Brown but he shed a light on a lot of different things that I wanted to say today and when I seen this I said I have to put this in my video I don't really know where there haven't been any facts to uh, overwhelming facts to show me that what he's saying is not true right. so I'm going I'm going to believe him every time a story comes up you immediately hop on the side sure. even before any facts have been shown you hop on the side of the Yes, and I am feeling everything T.I. Is, is saying. With everything going on on social media, the reason why I didn't even cover the whole Jasmine story is because it's, it's saturated with social media, YouTube. Is this, is this, uh, the story has went viral. And I feel like that story needs to be played out fairly. Just the same thing with Chris Brown. I'm sorry. I'm not about to jump on a bandwagon because, oh, because it's right there. And, oh, we see this. And, oh, she did this. I'm not I'm not a bandwagon jumper. I'm not going to believe something because everybody else is insinuating this is what's going on. This is what's happening. This is what's in her cup. I, I'm just, I'm... I, I can't wait to the story is said and gone. I would love to get to the truth. I feel like it makes the young man and Jasmine look bad as black people itself. Ladies, 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 ladies. It is 2019. You don't drink off nobody cup. I don't give a damn if that's your friend. You know why? Because I had somebody that drunk off somebody cup that was supposed to be their friend. And come out, it would come to find out it was all a setup. So you don't drink off nobody's cup but your own. You don't, if you smoke weed, if they didn't roll that shit up in front of you, you don't need to smoke it. If a man is trying to buy you a drink in the bar, Go with him and go get the drink. I, I need y'all to think more. And I'm not trying to say this against nobody. But in, in certain situations, even down to these stars and these females, you have to put yourself in certain situations. You have to be, you have to account for everything that's going on around you at all times time because you never know what's going to happen you have to think with your gut if a man is up on you for too long walk away scream do something but at the same token it is 2019 I'm going to need for our black men and black women to understand that they need 
to be aware of their, uh, their, their surroundings. Like for real, people. Because you never know who's watching you. You never know. You can't put everything on social media. Because people will follow you wherever you are. And they will come and get your ass. I'm sorry. People don't understand that. And I'm not about to jump on nobody being wagging with none of these stories no more. With the whole Me Too thing and the whole R. Kelly thing. And I'm not doing it no more. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. I, I, I got to just stand firm in what I feel and what I believe. Now, with the whole Jasmine thing, all they're going to do is trash her. And all they're going to do is trash homeboy. And why? Because everybody has an opinion and wants to put it out on social media. And I'm not really here for the fuck shit. I'm just not. I can't take it no more. So, for me, what I've noticed is when, I, when, I, when I'm going out, we go together to the bathroom. We go into the bar. We all go into the bar. We look out for each other. Ain't nobody going home by themselves. None of that shit. We came together. Fuck that. We leaving together. But if you out by yourself, you cannot be getting all alcoholic up. I understand that you want to have a good time. But me, I, I can't because people are so fucking sneaky and people are so crazy. You never know who going to do what. So when I go out, I watch everybody. I watch people so much to the point where I don't know what drunk is because I don't do it because I just drink and I'm at a point where I can drink. And not get saucy because my mentality is thinking about, but what if this happen if you get saucy? What if this go down if you get saucy? So I just don't do it. I've come to that age where you, you just can't wild out no more like you used to. You can't live freely in certain atmospheres like we used to do. And that's my whole thing on it. I stand with T.I., the whole thing with the whole social media has gotten out of control. And the, the some people is just already guilty before they even get to the courtroom. And it really don't make no sense. I stand with him on that point. Like my name is E my name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, I'm just happy Chris Brown is on his way back home. He, they asked him for a statement. He said he loved everybody. Like, he, he's, he hauled ass out of there today. And I'm not mad at him. Because, come on. He's, with, with that whole Rihanna thing hanging over his head, he's going to always be looked as the bad guy. All the time. So, when it comes to groupies, you got to be extra careful. These stars got to be extra careful. And I'm not just talking about the male stars. I'm talking about female stars. I'm talking about people that's in the limelight. You just have to be extra careful, you two. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's talk about it in the comments. Bye, you two.